Thank you, Shaleen. Um, good morning to all the participants from Asia and good afternoon to all my friends from Australia and New Zealand. Um, it's a pleasure to speak uh, at this uh, at this D sites event, specifically because um, IoT is something which is very, very topical and uh, very close to my heart. First, let me give you some context. If you look at uh, world over, I believe that Asia Pacific is leapfrogging other regions when it comes to digital technologies. And uh, in many ways, what I'm seeing is that Asia Pacific is becoming the place where companies are figuring out how to future proof their own businesses. And it is not surprising that Asia Pacific companies are at the forefront of digital innovation and are leading digital in, in, uh, in transformation investments. In fact, IDC predicts that um, Asia Pacific will drive around $1.2 trillion of digital transform transformation in investments by the year 22-23. And it is not just cost and efficiency pressures that uh, are driving these investments. Companies that I talk to every day are also de uh, developing digital skills and capabilities to stay ahead of this particular curve. TCS has been leading this uh, transformation story in Asia Pacific. And in the last couple of years, we have strengthened our position as a trusted business transformation partner to many of our customers. And we have most of these customers, if I look at it, the interesting thing is most of these has been a CEO led program. So I want to give you one example. For example, we, we developed the uh, Petronas DAO program, which is the digital vis visualization of the downstream business to provide end-to-end -end visibility of the entire supply chain through data-driven real-time uh, insights. Based on my conversations with um, CEOs and uh, CDOs and COOs in this region, there are some key digital investment priorities that I'm seeing. The first one is on purely on holistic digital experience. The second one which I'm seeing is that how to use AI powered analytics in the digital transformation agenda. The third thing which I'm seeing is more and more people adopting cloud. And the fourth one is on, on automation as well as cognitive capabilities enhancements in the entire journey. The fifth thing that I'm seeing is that organizations are actually developing ecosystems powered by both AI, IoT, as well as automation. And the last one, which I'm very happy about is what I call a purpose-led business transformation with sustainability at the core of it. So um, I want to give you some, some very interesting examples of some digital transformation efforts uh, in three areas. The first one is that we are seeing driving digitally connected enterprise for improved organizational performance through predictive ana analytics. In fact, we partnered with a very leading retailer in, in um, Australia to build a very unique IoT based farm to fork solution for strawberries and lettuce. The solution uses sensors to track temperature humidity, location, and other parameters to track fresh food um, freshness as well as to reduce food waste. Uh, so, I mean, for all those people in Australia and New Zealand, we should be thankful about the solution because we get strawberries and lettuce fresh right from the farm to, to, the, to our uh, dinner tables. The second one is uh, we are seeing a use of wearable for monitoring employee health and safety and for improving the whole workforce management program. In fact, TCS helped SATS to reimagine their entire RAM tech support experience using smartphone, smartwatch and a video wall control center solution, increasing what we call proactive communication as well as reducing the workforce fatigue. And the last one is, uh, again, we are seeing a lot of interest on moving towards a sustainable business through intelligent energy management solutions 
efficient fleet operations and optimize optimum logistic cost simulations as well as sensor based care models okay. and uh, this is an interesting thing because uh, tcs shine seniors an integrated elder care platform um, using iot and data analytics um, enabling timely care for seniors that involves emergency alert inactivity alert has actually reached around 170 plus elderly beneficiaries in singapore so to, to enable customers to adopt iot on scale and to realize its benefits tcs has launched the iot business framework what we call bringing life to things and uh, regu will speak about this uh, during his particular session so with uh, that in mind i want to hand it over back to shali i really look forward to engaging discussion through this particular session thank you all